Hey everybody, this is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys? Happy to be here with you today. I am working on this card and I'm going to show you how I made it. It is from my Global Design Challenge this week. It's my third week participating in the Global Design Project Challenge. This week it's Case the Designer. And on my blog you can see the designer's um, card and how I went about choosing was I decided to do some kind of sky as my background. My stamp set this week I've been using is Legendary Ride. So the Global Design Challenge, I have to fit it within my stamp set. So I decided to use the Grove dies, which cuts out this really um, cool scene right here. And I used this, which is actually a die from the stamp set that you can cut out the top of it but I used it to kind of cut out my trees so that you could see that sky above them. Um, and then I added my motorcycle in the scene, like a night ride. I thought that it would work, and I don't know what you guys think of the outcome, but let me know in the comments below. And um, I also used, I love these um, All That dies because there's some pretty awesome labels on this die set. I use this one right here. I just thought it fit perfectly for that sentiment. And there's no label dies in the set with Legendary Ride. It's basically all the parts and pieces to make your motorcycle and then the pieces that cut out your stamps from the set. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how I made this little card. All right, so I started with uh, four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of Knight of Navy. And we're gonna score that at five and a half. And I also have a piece of five, and a quarter by four of the DSP, and I'm gonna score it at the five inch mark. And it gives me a quarter of an inch. You'll see why in a minute, but we're gonna score that little end there. We're gonna turn that under, okay? So this paper is pretty amazing. It's from the Stargazing pack of paper that has to do with a space. Um, themed stamp set. So I'm combining the two together. So we're going to go ahead and burnish our card and get a nice solid burnish on here. If I can get my bone folder, it's over here on the side of my desk, but it's under my other tools. All right. So on this piece, we are going to use two dies from the Grove set. We're going to use this one and this one and then I use these two leaves but I've already die cut them and I die cut them out of Azure Afternoon so there they are and out of the all that dies I have already cut out that label but we are going to have to stamp and cut out our motorcycle. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. And we'll have that ready to go through the die cut machine. And then we can just put the die cut to bed. The die cut machine to bed. So let me grab the stamp. It's the smaller motorcycle. There's two sizes in the stamp set. And this is a brand new ink pad. And one thing I wanted to let you guys know, when you have these brand new ink pads, I tend to um, feel that they are oversaturated with ink. They're very, very heavily inked. So what I do is I pull that ink from one side of the pad to the other end. And I always usually pull from the side that has a stripe, that's the side I know that has less ink on it. And then I will wipe off with a baby wipe that extra ink 
onto that baby wipe. And I just keep this um, plastic spoon in my stamp drawer and I use it for that because when your ink pads are oversaturated, you don't get the true color. It's like too dark. So that's just a tip for you. So now I've inked up my motorcycle and I'm gonna stamp it on this scrap piece here. We'll put it in this corner. All right, so there's my true color of Azure Afternoon. It's a little darker than Tahitian Tide. Tahitian Tide is a little brighter. Let's go ahead and clean that stamp and then we'll do all of our die cutting. We'll have some more stamping to do, but not yet. All right, I'll grab my die cut for that. And it is the small motorcycle right here. All right, so now I have everything ready. Let's get the big machine out. I'm gonna move these guys out of the way for right now. We don't need them yet. And we need this, this, and this. And I'm gonna move this out of the way as well. All right, so the machine that we're using is the Big Boss, which is the Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. We are gonna use plate number one, two, and three. There's two number threes. So number one is the platform. Number two is when we're using those steel dies. Number three is our bottom cutting plates, the one that has all the cut pieces in it. And number three, the second one, is the one that gets pressed through to smush down, but it does not have anything cut through it yet. I rotate my plates back and forth. So when this one gets wore out, I'll get rid of it. And this one will become the cutting plate and my new pack, I'll just grab one plate out of the new pack to be my top plate. And that's what I do. I, this one can get flipped back and forth, back and forth but this is how I go about doing mine. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and cut out our little motorcycle. So I'm just going to lay my die cut over the top. I'm just gonna stand up and make sure. <clears throat> Sometimes when you're sitting, you can't see directly over the top, but that looks pretty good to me. So we're gonna run that through, cut out our motorcycle first. I love this big machine. It's so sturdy and strong. It doesn't really wiggle very much. There's our motorcycle. I'm gonna put it off to the side with the other die cuts. And when I use scraps, and I still have a nice usable scrap, I go ahead and cut that apart right away. And that way I can put it in, I have a baggie that I keep all of my scrap pieces. And then that way I have access to them whenever I need them. All right, so the next piece that we're gonna die cut is going to be the Grove die. So we're gonna open our card. I'm gonna put it upside down and I'm gonna center this piece in between the score line, which is right here. And I just want it to be a nice up and down have some nice room and I want it to be even as best I can. So there is that. We're going to go ahead and run that through first. And I'm going to slide this through and I'm going to put this at the score line. I don't want it to press past my score line. So that's where it will cut off. Is that that score line? When you use a large die like this, your die cut machine can make a crackle sound or a bump when it's through because it's just a lot of pressure on that machine. That's completely normal. So we're gonna take that off. And as you can see, I have lots of pieces stuck in there. I'll have to poke those out. And I'm gonna lift up here and drop all of these pieces down. And there is our first opening. I have a lot of pieces to poke through, but I'm not going to do that right this moment. We'll do that in a minute when we get the machine out of the way. But meanwhile, I'm going to take what's on here 
and kind of rake it down into my hand. Take this big piece first and get these out of the way. And then we're gonna go ahead and put um, that other die that's made to cut out a piece from the stamp set that goes with the Grove dies, but I'm using it at the top of my tree line so that instead of it being solid, it's gonna open this top section up. So I'm gonna slide this part through and I'm gonna take this outline. I'm gonna try and put it so you guys can see it a little better. And I'm gonna lay this on here and see how it's forming like a little tree line across my top. That's what I want. Put that right there. And then I'm gonna press this right to the seam again and then I'm gonna push it in for it to grab from that score mark. Oh, it slid on me, hang on. Let's try that again. I want it to cut out all of it, so let's try that one more time. And I wanna make sure that my piece stays onto my card. There we go. I think we're good now. We're cutting that piece out, and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. All right. Slide that out. And I'm going to pull this piece off. And it has cut us a little tree line. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut up that mark with my paper snips. Right up that seam. and then I'm gonna close it, and then I'm gonna finish cutting on that score line to make it nice and even. So there is my inner card, and now we have this tree line. See that? Pretty cool, right? I know It's not made to do that, but I just thought it would be cool, so I decided that it would do that. <laughs> All right, let's close this guy up and then we'll put our dies away, clean up our messes. That machine's rather big and takes up a lot of space on our desk. Before I put this away, you wanna make sure that you do purge your pieces of your die. You don't put them away that way because what happens is over time, they'll get jammed in those holes. That's why there's these little die holes. I mean, these little holes here on the die because it gives you something to put your pick, take your pick tool in and really purge those spots. I think I just have one left. This big one right here. I don't think I see any more. Oh. Two on the side here to miss those. All right, I think we got, we're good now. So you wanna make sure that you purge these because over time the paper will keep getting stuck in those and then it won't cut your die as well. So I try and purge as I go. All right, so let's put these back. I love this Grove set. And I actually have quite a few videos with this set. So if it's something that you own, you can find my playlist. Um, the stamp set, I think, is called... I have to think about it for a second. Give me a minute. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the name of it. I think it's called Grassy Grove. So we'll put our motorcycle back as well. All right. So now we're ready to start working on our card. That was the hard part. All right. So let's see where we're at. So now we have this pretty cool piece. I am gonna go ahead and poke out. I don't always poke all of the pieces, but I really want that paper, that stargazing DSP to shine through all of these little holes in the trees. I think that's what's gonna make it extraordinary. So I de definitely need to make sure that all my 
little holes are poked through, that will give me the best view of that paper. All right, so now for the inside, we're gonna have a white liner. I'm gonna show you the inside of my finished card. I'm trying to clean up my mess out of the way so that you guys can have a good view of everything that I'm trying to show you. All right, so on my finished card, you pull this piece open and you have the gorgeous paper and there's a piece of azure on the end. I cut it a little longer than this paper and I'll show you why. I wanted you to know that there was something there to lift, but I wanted it to be in line with all of our colors. So then you're gonna flip this open. <clears throat> now the back of this paper has orange and I didn't want a lot of orange showing. So I did put a piece of azure afternoon over the orange. Now you cannot put it over the the crease because it will get smushed in there so you're going to have a little bit of orange showing but it's not going to be that bright like seeing all of this when you open okay and then on the inside i have a small quarter inch piece of this white so my inside piece is um <clears throat> excuse me my inside piece is four inches by five and a quarter inches. And the reason that I made it um, that is I just wanted it to match as the inside of my card here, okay? And so this piece that we made the quarter inch score mark, we're gonna tuck that under there and glue that in place. So that's gonna get glued there, and then that's gonna form that piece. Then we're going to glue our azure piece over the top. So let's start with that gluing. I'm gonna grab my silicone mat. And we're gonna pull this out. I'm gonna open this piece. And we are going to add a little bit of, well, if I can get my glue started. Here we go. I don't want an exorbitant amount. I just want a very light amount. It, this glue is very strong and I know I over glue things at times, but you really don't need that much glue to make it work. I think I have a Jasper hair stuck. Yeah, it's a little short here. I think it's Jasper's. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our basic white along that piece and then just make sure that it will fold over and that that seam will still fold over our card. And then this is where you double check to make sure that you have the right measurement, that you don't need to trim anything off. Okay, just like that. Now this white piece is not gonna show because we're gonna have that azure covering that. So we're gonna add our azure and we're gonna glue it. Now that orange piece is still gonna show right there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put adhesive on our orange except in that seam. And there is a little bit of ooze even though I tried to put the slightest amount of glue, I'm just gonna be real gentle and try and remove that because we don't want it sticking to itself, right? Then we won't be able to open our card. All right, I think we're good there now. So let's go ahead and put adhesive on this piece. And again, you just wanna make sure that you have enough to adhere it and you don't want anything on that seam. And the reason I'm putting it on the orange is because the azure is going to stick out. And I just wanna make sure that I don't over stick the part that's sticking out. And so this piece of azure afternoon is 
five by four. And you just wanna make sure that you press it down good. You can also use your roller to make sure that it bonds nicely. And then we're going to flip that closed and it should cover the white. Now, if it doesn't, which right now it's not, I'm gonna trim that little bit of white off because I don't want any of it showing. So I'm just gonna use my little guillotine cutter and just shore that right up. I love this cutter for this very reason. You can cut the tiniest little slivers off. I think I have a small sliver left right at the top. Yep. And see how thin it cuts? Just the thinnest little sliver. All right. So now that we have this piece in place, that piece there, we're gonna go ahead and put adhesive on the back of this white piece. And we're gonna go ahead and glue this into place. We're having torrential rain here today. I don't know why it's raining so much, but I feel sorry for the people who have come to Virginia Beach for vacation for Memorial Day because it has just been the worst weather for them. I guess that's the chance you take when you go on vacation and you plan a holiday vacation, right? You just never know what you're gonna get for weather. Okay, so now this piece is gonna go this way with the Azure on the left. And so we're gonna just try and center it along that Knight of Navy so that it's even. And I'm just gonna hold it for a second. Then I'm gonna lift my hands and use my roller. All right, and I think that looks pretty awesome. So there, when I close my base, you see how beautiful that sky looks through the trees? So the card opens like this, this way, and then this way, just like that. All right, now I think I'm gonna cut a navy piece of motorcycle and glue it over the top of that. I don't really like that white showing with all that navy. What do you guys think? I think we should do that. Let me grab this and if you'll give me a second, I will grab a scrap from my navy folder. Let me find one that's big enough. I just think it's going to make it look more finished. I have a lot of uh, scraps. Navy has been around for quite a while, that color. And I don't think I'll have any problem finding us. I found one. See if I can find us another piece for the second card. I have some, but I'm not sure if they're tall enough. Let's see if this piece is tall enough. If this one is tall enough, we might can get both. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we're gonna cut two motorcycles. going to bring the mini out so I don't have to bring the big guy. I have the mini readily available always. So I'm just going to bring that out and cut us two motorcycles. So I think we're going to be happy with the results. I love this mini, but it's so lightweight. Sometimes it's hard to press down because <laughs> it's just so light. Okay, so there's one. Let's do the other one. I think this is going to be, whoops. See that sliding around on me? I'm gonna flip this plate over, I think. There we go.
I think this is going to be a game changer for the card. I think I hope you guys will like it. Here it comes. All right, so let me throw that away. I got a little sidetracked. I just saw all that white, and I thought, oh, I should cover it in navy, right? You guys roll with me through all the punches, through all the craziness, through all my changes. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right, so let's look at that and see how it looks. Oh, yes, that's so much better, don't you think? I think so. Let's go ahead and put some glue on there. I think it's going to change the card almost because you're not gonna see that bright white on the back when you flip it. That's fantastic. Pressing that into place. Yes, that's way better. And you don't see it from the front, so fabulous. All right, so let's get our motorcycle ready. I'm gonna go ahead and glue those two pieces together. And then we will attach our motorcycle to our card. And I'll show you how I do that. So with the motorcycle, we want it like to look like there's a road back behind those trees that it is riding down. Oh, I'm so happy that I chose to do this, that there's not going to be white showing. I think it's going to really be beautiful on the card. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a tiny bit of glue to the bottom of the wheels here. Okay. And then on these parts of the trees here where it will just touch, I'm going to add a little bit, just the tips. Okay, so then I'm gonna put, I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna put the motorcycle down on my silicone mat and I'm gonna bring the card to it. Okay, so we're gonna figure out where we want our motorcycle to be, how high up, I think that's good. Bring it forward a little. And there is our motorcycle. And you're just gonna press that into place. I like to use my adhesive remover. It also removes the adhesive while it's helping you to press it down. That looks amazing. And then I'm gonna make sure that there's no glue on the back because we don't want our car to stick together, right? So make sure we remove all adhesive that does not belong. Okay. So what does that look like? Let's look. That looks fantastic. All right. So now we're going to work on our label. So here it is. We're going to stamp this sentiment here. Classic, authentic you since forever. And I'm going to use blueberry bushel. Sometimes Night of Navy is almost too dark when you stamp it and it will look like black. And I didn't want it to look black at all. So I thought that if I went with Blueberry Bushel, which is a little bit lighter than, um, a little bit lighter than the Night of Navy, that it would work. Okay, so here's our label, and we're gonna, I'm gonna hover my stamp like that, and we'll just press it down. I'm just gonna use my finger, try not to move the stamp over the top. Just make sure that it's nice and stamped, and then I'm just gonna hold the label and lift it straight up. Oh, I blurred it a little bit. 
What do you guys think? Should I cut another one? I think I have to. You can't really flip these labels over like you can other pieces. See that? How you have that like rim all the way around? So I kind of pushed it too much. I think I just got a little excited. And let me grab a scrap of Azure Afternoon. This time I'm gonna go ahead and see if that will be big enough, it will. I'm gonna stamp it and then we'll die cut it out since I have to die cut it anyway. This is the way to really do it. I just did it to save time. I think I get nervous when I have the pre-cut label and then I ruin it. See, look how easy I did that. <laughs> oh goodness, you guys are getting a, a die cutting um, spree today. I normally hardly ever die cut on camera. I have everything ready for you so that the video is not too long. But not today. Today we are in die cut heaven. Let me grab the little machine back. Alright, gotta get my die out. I do love these dies, they're beautiful. They're called All That Dies. And they go with the stamp set He's All That, I think is the name of it. That looks pretty good. That in, crank it through. All right. This is what I should have done from the beginning, right? It's okay. Live and learn. All right. Sorry for the extra long video, guys. <laughs> with all the die cutting. All right, let's get rid of the one that we don't like, the blurry. Now, I decided that I wanted to lift up that piece. So we're gonna grab mini dimensionals. Here they are. And we're gonna see where this lays in the corner, like that. And then we are gonna put a bunch of mini dimensionals, there's four, underneath. But we don't want them showing through. So we wanna make sure that we place them in spots that you won't see them from the back end. I think I can put a big one there. Let's see, I have this piece left over from an edge. So we'll put that one up there. Let's see. I think I can put a mini right there. And I think, I really think that's good enough, but you know me and my dimensionals. So I'm going to put one more right here on this long piece. I just want there to be enough to hold it up without it sagging. I feel like I need another piece right there because I don't have any dimensionals on that side. I just don't know if I can fit it in that spot there in between those branches. We'll see if I can do it. Let's see how we can get it in there. I think that should be fine. All right, let's go ahead and pull the backs off. I'm going to grab my take the pick tool to make it much faster for you than watching me try to get these off one at a time with my fingers. All right, so there's that. We're going to go ahead and add our label to the corner. I really love this label. I think it's so pretty. All 
All right, so on the inside, we're gonna do a little stampin'. Let me get my, all my tools out of the way. I have so many things in the way when I stamp. You should see the mess on my desk when I'm done. One day I'll take a picture of it for you. <laughs> all right, we're gonna glue this little thin quarter inch strip of the um, DSP, and that's gonna go on the left side. All right, let's grab our tweezer. We'll put that over here. I think that's so pretty to add that little touch of that outer piece. And then I always like to run my bone, not my bone folder, my adhesive remover eraser along the edges because you never want it to stick. And then when you go, go to close your card, then you can't open it because it's stuck. So on the inside, I did a little bit of stamping. So we have the bicycle again. So we're gonna go ahead and ink that up. And we'll put it right here in this corner. And then we have the flame and I stamped off on that. So let's go ahead and get my cleaner out. My motorcycle must have been a little wet for me cleaning it last time. It didn't do a great job. I might have to cover that with another one. Like a die cut one and put it inside. All right, let's grab our flame. This is not wet. We're gonna grab a scrap paper, if I can find one around my desk. I always have scrap paper everywhere, but. So I'm gonna stamp off my flames. And then I'm gonna stamp them right here. Okay, I just want a second generation because I, I want to stamp over the top but still see the flames. So we want just the word dad. We're gonna use blueberry bushel. And so I'm gonna grab a piece of tape and I'm gonna show you how I go about altering my stamp. So this stamp says, Dad, you're the coolest. I don't want that bottom section. So I'm gonna just lay the tape along there, make sure that it indents so that that bottom part of the D gets the ink. And I'm just going to ink that up like that. I'm gonna peel this off. I'm gonna turn it in on itself so that I don't get any ink on my fingers or try not to. Sometimes, you know, it's inevitable. That's why my name of my, uh, <laughs> That's why my name is Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Okay, so throw that in the trash. Then we're gonna stamp the word dad right over that flame. See, and that way you can still see the flame because it's a second generation. And we're gonna go ahead and clean that stamp. I think that I need to um, let some of the water out of this, which is why I'm having that problem that I have here at the end of my bike. All right, so the next step is we're gonna do the word legendary, and it says you are legendary. So again, I'm gonna just grab a little piece of tape and just make sure that it's over the word you are. I don't want that to um, have any ink. I just want the word legendary. So we'll ink that up. And then we're gonna remove, stick that here for right now. We're gonna stamp that so it says Legendary Dad. All right. So how to fix the motorcycle. I say we just stamp another one on some basic white cardstock, die cut it out, but we make sure that this time it's dry and it's not wet. 
What do you guys think? Let's see if I have a scrap handy. If not, I'll have to grab a big piece to stamp that motorcycle on. I don't know if it will fit on that. I think it will. Let's see. First, let's make sure that um, it's not overly wet. That was what was the problem, is that my stamp was wet. So then when I stamped it down, the water um, from that was on there. So let's close the blueberry bushel. Move on to Azure Afternoon. Hang that up. All right, let's stamp it onto this scrap. Hopefully this is big enough. We'll see when I stamp it, if it is. If not, I'll have to cut a piece of white. I don't have any bigger scraps than this in my bag. Oh, I think it'll be fine. All right, so the only reason I'm continuing with this and not saying, oh, just leave it, is because I want you guys to realize what you can do to fix things. And when I make mistakes on my cards, and I make them a ton, trust me, I want you to know how I go about um, fixing them because that's that's the part, you know? That's what makes stamping stamping. It's never gonna be perfect. You're never gonna do things. It's handmade, so inevitably things are gonna go wrong, but I want you to know how to go about making it better. And so that's what I'm here to do with you. So we're gonna cover that up. Give me a second to get, I'm gonna cut this end hair off. I'm gonna grab my die, I have to find my die. Let's see, where are you? Here we go. Bring the die cut machine back. getting a workout this die cut machine today. Mistakes on the labels, mistakes on everything. <laughs> it's okay. It happens. All right, so let's set up our motorcycle. Let's cut that. All right, when it gets to that piece, I'm gonna hold the top because I wanna make sure I hold it down. It's so lightweight. All right. So this is going to die cut our motorcycle. And then we're just gonna glue that over the top of the other one. What do you guys think of that fix? Not bad, right? My mat's moving everywhere. Sorry, this video is so long. You're probably over me by now. This really is not a hard card <laughs> if you don't make 500 mistakes, right? <sighs> okay. Let's put our motorcycle over the top of our blurry motorcycle. And no one will ever know that it wasn't meant to be like this. All right, so there's our fix. Close our card. The last step is going to be to do these leaves. I already have them die cut out, thank God, for time's sake, right? Thank you, God, for time's sake. All right, so we're gonna take our ribbon. This is the Starry Sky, I love this color. And we're gonna tie a bow. I don't know how long of a piece because I just tie it while it's on the spool. So just tie your bow and make it the length that you want. I want my loops to be about medium, like about that long. And then I'm gonna trim so that's what my bow looks like. I'm gonna put my clip back on my ribbon. Okay. So to attach our bow, we're gonna use a mini glue dot and then we're gonna add these pieces. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna have my leaf be there and I'm gonna grab my 
mini glue dot and I'm gonna pull that one off and I'm gonna kind of have it hold that bow into place. That's where my knot's gonna go, okay? It's gonna hold that piece down. And I'm going to, with these loops, I'm gonna make them just a tiny bit smaller. I'm going to go ahead and pull all of them downward like this so that the tails and the loops are down. So we're gonna go ahead and get that to stick on top of our mini glue dot. And then I'm gonna use another mini glue dot, but this time I'm gonna ball it up so I'm just gonna run it into a little ball. I'll show you, hopefully it won't blur in the camera, but there it is, okay? And we're gonna put that right over this piece here. And then we're gonna stick our other leaf, making sure that this is how it is down onto that mini glue dot. Now, I don't want these tails so long, so we're gonna trim them. I really love um, the bows with the loops downwards. I think that they're pretty like that. And then you just finagle your little leaves in place and then you snip this about like that. And that way you don't have a girly bow on a dad card, but I just felt like it needed a little bit of navy. That was the thinnest. I didn't have a navy twine. If you have a navy twine, I would probably go with that. Um, I didn't have that, so I went with my starry sky. And then the final step, of course, we have to add some stars to our sky, right? So you'll just fill in three wherever you feel that they are needed. I'm gonna put one up here in this opening. And then I'm gonna put one down here and through the holes of the tree, maybe right there. And then wherever you feel that you need those little sparkle stars, you add them. I think that it adds to the night sky and hopefully um, this card is something that you think is pretty cool. If not, that's okay too. Um, you never know. Some things people like and other things they don't. I hope that you enjoyed watching me make this card. Don't forget, we use the Legendary Ride set. I have to put my motorcycle back. We also use the Legendary Ride dies. This is my, oh gosh, I don't know how many videos. I think this is the fourth video for this set of, um, for this die set um, and stamp set. We use the All That Dies. And then of course, Grassy Grove. Thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate it so much. And thanks for hanging in there if you stayed till the end. I know that I had a little bit of uh, hiccups, but that's how it is. Real life crafting here on this channel. And the reason I do that is I want to show you how to fix the things that go wrong because things do go wrong when you're stamping. There's no perfect stamping in the whole world, I'm pretty sure, unless a machine does it. Thank you for being here. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. I love having you. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and thanks for being here. Happy stamping!